Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. This process video is part of my kit busting kind of series that I'm going to be doing. I am super lucky to receive the Hip Kit Club subscriptions and so recently I had six months worth of kits to sort of pile up on the floor so I went on a sorting frenzy and got a system together. I'll link that video where I talk about how I've put this system together below if you're interested in seeing how I've put all this together but what you're seeing me here today is we're going to do a project life process video but I am going to pop in to my system the February kit. I really want to make sure I don't end up with piles of past kits on the floor again. I really want to have this system work for me where I'm using up all these gorgeous goodies. So I am so what you're seeing me here now do is incorporate all those beautiful February kit products into my system and so I can be ready to access them in when I'm doing my kit busting projects. Uh, it, it's just been, I, I can't emphasize how much this makes me feel good. I was getting lots of guilt about having these piles on the floor of kits and I really needed to come up with a system and I'm so glad that this is working for me. So definitely check out below uh, how I've how my system works. I've put the papers and, and the embellishments into some order and um, I've linked that one below for you guys to check out if that interests you and you. This is not just for Hip Kit Club subscribers. This is for any kit club subscribers these tips could be really great and if you're like me and having piles of kits on your floor I encourage you to check this out because this feeling is really good so here I am just sorting my papers into my order I've sorted my embellishments into brights and vintages so they're really good depending on the photo I'll just grab each embellishment like I pop them on dog clips there and then I go through pick out my alphas and my titles and there you go so I've just sorted all the March oh, sorry all the February kits into my system now here I am I'm going to be sharing with you today a uh, double page out of my 2018 Project Life album, which I'm still working on, it's still enjoying, loving it, even though 2019 we're well into that, but I'm working on that at the same time as well. So this here is a couple of pages celebrating my gorgeous little nephew Archer's fourth birthday. Also on the opposite side that you see me working on there is my little girl uh, finally went on her first mountain bike ride in the bush. So we're happy about celebrating that little moment that she worked hard to um, to achieve. Uh, and my beautiful son down there, that was a photo of him where he was just about to head off for his first job interview. So lots of proud mummy moments there and lots of lovely things to celebrate. So I've just pulled out those project life cards that I had them in a little bag there and I've grabbed out ones and sat them where I think that they may go. And you know, I think this way of um, pulling all the photos out, sitting them on the page protectors is a really great way of working. When I first started Project Life, 2018 was my first year that I committed to it in its entirety. I would just be pulling out one photo and working on it at a time and then putting it back in. And I found the process really time consuming. So I've settle down into this way so I work on pages at a time these photos are really bright so I've picked up my brights embellishments that were on a clip there and I've pulled out all the elements that I think are going to be you know that I'm going to love using there now the it's the beautiful thing about this is when I'm finished putting these uh, pages together I simply just pile up all the brights embellishments clip them back on and sit them back into that plastic container and that's the sorting done it's not time consuming packing things away into different boxes I know that I've got those three boxes well three kind of systems there and it's all just super handy all in order and easy to grab it's also a fabulous idea if you're wanting to head away on a retreat or a scrappy night at your girlfriend's house or, you know, even if you're going camping or taking the caravan out or the RV if you're in America. Like we don't have, our, well, we do have RV here, but they're not very frequent. <laughs> um, if you're taking it out and you can just pick up those few containers and you're set. 
project life album in hand or some papers for your 12 by 12 layouts or whatever you like to do it's all easy on hand so here you can see that I'm just setting out those pieces I've throughout the year I have incorporated some custom made project life cards you see that one there it says Archer's fourth birthday and over on the other side first bike ride in the bush uh, I've just made those using the Rona Designs app and printing them out on my Canon selfie super easy to do and I've also incorporated throughout the year layering um, my photos with a small white border now that's uh, I, it, it, it looks lovely it's a consistent theme through and this year I learned a lesson because that was actually really time consuming cutting those out and making sure that I was on there so I'm really trying to be a bit more time effective this year in my project lifestyle and I think it's all trial and error what works for you at the busy times in your life um, so you know that, that process for me is gone and I actually have printed my photos with white borders well some of them with white borders for my 2019 album but I love how I love how that little border looks and I usually put little black dashes around which you'll see me do shortly and it really sort of pops off there oh isn't he super cute with his big cheeks and his big bubble blowing the little uh, liquid paper runner you see me there is something that I've picked up recently. I really wanted to write on my photos. The Canon Selfie paper is quite shiny and I hadn't been able to find a pen at this time that would write on the photos without smudging. So I thought I'm going to get the liquid paper. So these little rollers have been great. In this in Australia, our Australian climate at the moment where I am, it's really humid. So you do have to give that little liquid paper time to dry. Not much time, but you do. And you'll see me here in a minute that I just get too excited and I write on it. And then I have to just liquid paper over the top of that again so that I can and leave it to dry so it really hardens and I can write on that without sort of squashing it around so here I am this I love this photo of my husband and my little girl she's growing up so much she's getting very tall uh, but yeah so I just want to leave that one alone only a, a little embellishment there a little bit of journaling and um, I really want to use that rainbow heart I just I thought it was super sweet um and but not take away from the photo too much with the journaling there I'm going 2019 this is another idea that I have which is to do um, sort of more journaling blocks and leave the photos to tell their own story essentially as well just sort of a time saving a time saving thing there so there you go look as you can see kit busting I'm just going hell for leather I am not saving anything if I think that little embellishment looks pretty there I'm going to pop it on uh, so I love puffiness usually I hoard them but there's no hoarding going on anymore with my kit busting series I am not thinking about it it's going on and I'm going to use these beautiful goodies up and um yeah, I just love that that Pink Fresh Studio puffy sheet is so beautiful uh, and it's very hard to cut into because you know that it would make a really super sweet 12 by 12 layout. But I'm not going to let that hang up, uh, like stop my process. I'm just going to keep going. Here's a cute photo of all the cousins. Well, a few of the cousins. There's 12 cousins in just on my side um, and they're all having fun with the bubble blowing. And I love it when you capture a candid photo that includes so many but they're not posed they're not looking at you it's just a sort of a candid little moment they don't even know you're doing it and it's just a lovely little feel in that photo I don't know about you which do you like the more posed photos or do you like a bit of a mix like me with these capturing just little moments as well as some posed or you know what's your favorite uh, photo what what warms your heart more when you look at it I'd really love to hear so let me know in the comments I'd love also to hear about how you're going with your project life. Are you up to date in your 2019 albums or are you still a little bit like me and, and still trying to reflect and enjoy and finalise those 2018 moments? These are Project Life cards which Kim Watson designs each month in the Project Life kit are always stunning. They're a really thick cardstock and they uh, make your pages really sturdy which I like as well. So there you go. There you can see that I finished off that side and look how bright and happy it all is. 
just those little bits of embellishments, those layering up of your photos and that journaling just really makes it sort of pop. And also the being a birthday party and those bright colours were around were a perfect match for those exclusive Project Life cards there. So here I am just trying to now... Keeping the completed side there as a reference because I really want to carry that, that brightness through um, but also give these photos because those these photos uh, don't have anything to do with Archer's fourth birthday, giving these photos the justice and um, sort of their own feature of, as their, their own moment there so just um, adding some borders doing my dashes just to keep that consistency there and I've got this journaling card that it's going to allow me to write a little bit of a story on there um, just about how proud I am of my children before Katie could ride in the bike we really wanted her to be really proficient on the road so my husband would take her and she the goal was if she could ride up a fairly big hill which is close by that would be the um, the milestone for her then to be able to go into the bush and so after lots of practice and lots of training she made it to the top of this hill so this little visit out into the bush was an exciting time for her because she she worked hard for it and my beautiful son down there and when he's dressed and off for his interview at McDonald's um you know that with that I'm so proud of him as well he's he's my quiet boy so really in a job interview where you've really got to sell yourself and be a little bit more of a, a I guess have some qualities that are outgoing and a, you know a bit of an extrovert it would have would have popped him out of his comfort zone a little but I'm so glad he he did it and he now has been working at McDonald's for some time and is loving loving it so I'm really really proud of both the kids here in these little moments and that's why the title is so proud once again splurging with those cute little puffy stars there and popping them popping them around trying to make that little card a little bit magical and adding with these embellishments you've got lots of blues and green tones there with these little embellishments adding those pops of color which help balance out the other side of the layout there but still you know giving these um these photos their own own space and own time i love that little liquid paper roller it is been the my biggest asset in you know my love of journaling and also with my journaling, I like to write things like stories, who, what, where, when kind of things. But I also love to document my thoughts at a time. And I also love to say things like, uh, look at those cheeks. Uh, they're so cute. Look at those, look at those, you know, I love seeing, you know, I'm trying, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I love to write what I feel about the photo. So as opposed to just the who, what, where, when stuff. Because as much as this project life is about my family, this project life I do for me. I do to document life. I do to delight in my children. My children do delight in the project. But it is really about me and me delighting in that. Um, I don't place any pressure on my children or my family to delight in any of the projects I do. That is just a side benefit that I'm lucky that I have a, a family that's interested in this kind of thing. But so this this album is really a journal to me as well, a journal about my thoughts and feelings. And I hope that one day that the kids will look back and go, oh, that was what mum was thinking then. Uh, and, you know, see how it all goes together. So as you can see, um, I didn't have those three photos and a lot of the time when I'm finishing off a month with this is this is what it is, I end up having a different size page protector in my album, which it looks fine and it adds a bit of a unique feature in the album as well and gives you a peek that the next month is just coming up because you can kind of peek off and see that monthly um, sign there so there you have it there's my bright and happy kit busting project life pages I hope it's inspired you to create and yeah give me a subscribe to my channel give me a like I am um, I would love you to support my channel that way if you enjoy my videos and I'll check back again with you guys really soon okay take care bye